If you're new to UV unwrapping, it might be quite a daunting task to understand. So let me give you a brief introduction. The first thing we want to do is set up the scene by expanding this. Here it goes. Oh, there we go. A new window and changing it to our UV editor. Now we'll start off with our default cube and make it consider considerably more complicated as we go on. So with the default cube, because it's a default cube, you, when you select it, you don't see anything in your UV map. You'll only see something when you press tab and go to edit mode. The other thing worth paying attention to, uh, you only see, let's press three face select, you only see whatever vert you have selected. So if you want to see everything, you want to choose wireframe mode with keep frame turn on and make sure you select everything that's part of that scene. And in this case, because it's a default cube, everything is automatically unwrapped. But you can always, just to be safe, press U, click unwrap. Nothing really changes. And you can press, if you want to change the layout, you might want to press U, smart UV unwrap. And you can change the angle, but that's fine. It's not going to do much. There we go. And over here, let, another thing you could approach you could do is you could press the face select, choose a face. This is considered a quad because it's, face has four sides. We can press U, follow active quads, and because we selected it, it's the active quad. And we could decide to fit it to the length, average, the length, or even. Let's try length average, press OK. I don't like that, so let's try length. Not much changes. Or let's try even. Nothing much, not, well, not much changes in this case. Um, let's just select this, press U, Smart UV Unwrap. Okay, there we go, it's back in shape. Anyway, so that, that's basic. I think you kind of get that. So let's quickly go tab object mode, delete this default cube, press shift A. In fact, let's use the default cube again for fun and do something different here. Press tab, go into edit mode, choose the top face, press I, press E to extrude, press E, S, expand, E, control B, press two and then control B. What's going on here? Control B. Let me select these faces individually. Control B. There we go. And over here as well. Alt, Control B. In this case, I'll roll up just to create more verts, make it more complicated. And there you have it. Now, obviously, if you want to see this whole scene in, yeah, you have to select everything. So let's choose wireframe mode with X-ray turned on and we select everything. Now, the whole thing is, yeah, and currently it's quite neat and perfectly fine the way it is. But let's say you wanted to be more efficient and use more of your UV space. And obviously, you always want to keep things in the boundary box of this or else it misses some of the area. Right. So one approach would be to select the face. In this case, let's press select this face, press U, Smart Unwrap, and we get this. Let's select this smaller face over here, press U, click Follow Active Quads, and press OK. And that's looking pretty good. But if we select this edge here, press U, Follow Active Quads, Even. And we can see how it looks if we chose Length or Average Length. But Even looks pretty... No, let's choose Base average length let's select all of this over here press G we could chuck it in here and then we can just uh, zoom in a bit in fact let's make this our main screen for now and press S to expand on this G and we might want to press S Y pull this out G, Y, and yeah, this is a lot more efficient with the space, less waste of space is used. I think you get the gist of it. And you could always play around with it. You, light map unpack, there we go, that's even better, and you get the idea. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial to this brief introduction on UV un uh, unwrapping. And it's extremely, I'm sure you know why you've, I didn't even go into what the purpose of UV unwrapping is. I'll definitely do that next time. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it informative. Thank you.